there, everybody, and welcome to Looking Back, a segment where we check out great articles from past issues of Amazonas. I'm your host, Alex Rose, and today we're going to be learning from Ralph Britz about two species of mud-dwelling eel gobies from Myanmar. If you have a hard copy of this magazine, you'll be looking for the March-April issue from 2020. Regardless of your subscription status, though, you can read this article for free on the Amazonas website by clicking on the link in the description below. I've never seen good images of eel gobies before, so I enjoyed this article, even if it wasn't a long one. The article talks about two species in particular, Odontambliopus rubicundus and Tripochinopsis intermedia. Bah, that's some tongue twisters. <laughs> These two members of the subfamily Ambliopinae under the family Gobiidae live in the mud in the brackish waters of rivers. T. Inter T intermedia, also called the bearded eel goby, was first described in 1903 and is widely distributed with museum specimens in existence from South Africa, Myanmar, formerly Burma, the Philippines, Micronesia, and Japan. They have small eyes and a number of short skin appendages on the head, and adults reach just over four inches in standard length. Large blood vessels are easily seen through its transparent skin, giving the fish its characteristic blood red color. The other species in this article, O. rubicundus, was originally described from the Ganges Brahmaputra River system back in 1822. The skin of this fish is less translucent and it consequently looks more pink than red. Its eyes are still small, but somewhat better developed compared to the first species. Its skin lacks appendages, but it has big fangs and enlarged pectoral fins. This eel goby is known from India, Bangladesh, Myanmar, and can reach a standard length of eight inches. It seems that the only species of eel goby that really manages to make it into the aquarium trade is the violet goby, Gobioides brucinetii, which can be found along the western Atlantic coast from the USA all the way down to Brazil and reaches an impressive size of 20 inches. If you want to get the full rundown on these odd and interesting fish, you can check out the 2020 March-April issue of the magazine, as well as the link to the article in the description below. Anyone can purchase back issues by going to our website and looking in the shop drop down menu. So, what do you think of these strange fish? Do you try to keep one? Let us know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this little blast from pages past. And if you did, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. <laughs>